Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to look at Eric Bugenhagen, AKA the Bugs, as he is some to ref sometimes referred to. Um, I've seen one of his videos, which is actually this one, because it had a catchy title. And I just watched part of it just now, and it was just him doing upright rows and rambling about how many reps he did. And it was like, I don't know, I felt a little misled. So I actually, I watched, okay, so I, I watched that video a couple, a couple months ago. Um, Cause I think I looked him up back then cause he gets talked about a lot on 4chan. And then I watched this and I was like, what the fuck am I watching? This is pointless. Like, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's entertaining if you know him and you like his like quirky personality. But for me who just, I, I don't know, I didn't find it that good. So anyway, we're gonna try this one, big dumb tips. And this one I actually will watch all the way through just to give him a fair chance, I guess. Um, yeah, so here we go. If you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know, leave me a comment. Three, two, one. Sticky D coming at you with some sticky tips. The longest time for my own general to buy a preacher curl machine, okay? Because the strap on biceps feels amazing. And let's be honest, preacher curls are probably the best way to work on this. But guys, you know, when you're in the game, this is game wire, you can call it, you'll realize that a lot of times machines, as a as they need, are just a little horse trap, right? And then you stick a little tried and true, talking a rack, a barbell, and dumbbells. You can see there's dust on the leg curl, the cat destroyed the fly machine. Uh, the lat pull down has a couple good features to it, but it's not the lat pull downs. That sweet pet fly bench hybrid machine looks incredible, but at the same time, I'm gonna bench, I'm gonna just use barbell, right? This hammer strength, dual dip slash chest press, I haven't used the chest press portion of it in years. The dip, eh, I'd rather just bench. Or you can just use a dip station over there. You guys catch the drift? Does that mean we can get rid of all that stuff? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Because <laughs> it sounds cool, it looks cool, and it feels oh cool. Gosh, but yeah, it's not effective. Alright? So we're not gonna do it, we're never gonna do it. In fact, we're gonna acquire more of it when we can. Oh, once we have a bigger space. Oh, but, we have room. Okay. But anyways. <laughs> my point is guys, there's still ways to do the preacher curls. And this stuff might be kind of knowledge. But if I can spit all stuff to you guys, you know that if someone just spit <laughs> spit ball to me, then I probably would have done it sooner and got a nice stretch and biceps and you know, work the tendons so they don't snap down the road. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna throw a couple sticky tips at you. So first and foremost, one of them is, no, you're gonna have to probably- Wait, 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 Other way, I'm just yes. following your direction. Okay, so anything that can basically, right, get you in know, a stretch position, right, you can use your- um, This is a better video, much better. And I guess all of his videos are like this, where it's like his girlfriend filming him in his home gym, and he's just like being quirky and making jokes and also working out which is something I guess he can afford to do because the dude's very strong, clearly doing something right when it comes to fitness and um, very good looking guy, like fucking Mr. Handsome over here, you know, save some, save some pussy for the rest of us, bro. Um, I guess all of his videos are either like 30 seconds him doing funny stuff, weird things. Um, okay. I haven't even ever like skimmed his channel yet. Uh, insanity workout. All right. Anyway. Okay. I get it. Um, I guess in terms of like not needing the machines, those are some old ass machines. <laughs> like there's better stuff out there now. Um, and I guess the question is like, what is ideal, right? And similar, similar to how I'll say like, oh, there's ideal foods to eat. And why would you eat these foods when you can eat these ones instead? I guess you could make the same argument for training. Why would you train this way? Why would you use the pec fly machine when you can just bench? Um, that's a little bit different because you're putting leverage on your muscles and tendons in a different way. And there is an argument to be made for um, having a more well-rounded training program, depending on what your goal is, or perhaps even regardless of what your goal is, right? But in general, the pec fly machine is, I don't want to say it's useless. So like, I, I started going to an actual gym again, after being, you know, abroad for a while, and not really going to a gym. Um, 
when I came back to the States and I joined Planet Fitness because it's cheap and they have them everywhere and I pay $20 a month. I don't have to fucking commit for a year and like join a gym and then cancel it because I fucking move somewhere else. Planet Fitness is just very convenient. I pay $20. I can go to any fucking gym in the United States. They're everywhere. So as a result, you know, they don't have a bench press. They don't have a squat rack. They have a Smith machine that you can use or a couple Smith machines, but they don't have the like classic weightlifting they don't have, I guess they just don't have those things. They don't have bench press. They don't have a squat rack, really. They have Smith machines. Um, and having kind of like made a new return to bodybuilding after not having done it for a while, I wanted to, I didn't want to jump right into doing free weights because I have like some new shoulder issues. And um, I just started doing the machines and I found the machines to be very useful um, would, would I have done the bench press and squat more if they were there? Yeah, probably. But, um, the machines were very useful because I could use them. I could use the fixed like track that they were on to put leverage on my muscles and specifically, I guess like the tendons in my shoulders at an angle that I would not be able to do with free weights. Um, so for situations like that, I think, I think machines are good for, for beginners. It doesn't really matter what you do, but to do stuff like this, you know, I, I don't like home gyms. I don't, I mean, it would be cool for sure. If I had like a bench press in my room or something, I could just go over and like pound out some reps that would actually be pretty cool. I don't know if I'd actually use it. I hope I would, but I like to go to the gym. I like to go to a place and like see people who I don't work with and I can like exist in a room with other people, you know, for an hour or two hours with like girls wearing spandex walking around and hopefully nice bodies. I, I enjoy that. That's like a, it's like a recreational activity for me. Um, if I could only, and to be fair, Planet Fitness is so cheap that you can you can join Planet Fitness and have a home gym. You can join Planet Fitness and go join a more specialized gym or a boxing gym or a fucking yoga studio or whatever you want. It's cheap enough to do that. So I think exclusively working out at a home gym is kind of, it's just boring for me. I guess if you get enough social interaction from other places, that's fine. But um, anyway, the point is like to get an old ass dumbbell and do a preacher curl on the bar in your squat rack or with your arm here. I don't know, kind of hard to compare that to an actual machine, but I, I get I get the idea. I, I guess what he's trying to do, I, I get it. Um, anyway, let's see what else he's gonna do. Your arm, the thing that is you can you know, use that momentum. There's one guy who thought he was doing a strict curl and he was doing it like this, and I was like, okay, if you pick back, how much more difficult it is, okay? So this little, these hips are extremely powerful. If you can eliminate that, that's where you're actually gonna really isolate the biceps. All right, so you can use the barbell. All right, stretch. Yeah. There's one preacher curl. Oh, yeah, that's good. Preacher curl option. In your Eagle's Nest while you're at home, you're going to buy a $1,000 machine. Now, as I said, the last hold on, things a piece. But it's got a couple good features to it, like this crack, like this seat, this piece of garbage seat. Now, I have a very high IQ when it comes to making up exercises and utilizing garbage equipment. What? Your hands are too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's look at this, guys. This is the Akanza $100 lap hold on seat. Things white as a feather. You just shitting it right in there. Mom, over there so you can see my peak. Here? Put it into the peak. Put it into the There's peak. no room. I don't know where it's going. Put the camera close up. Alright? Yeah. Yeah. That's a stretch in half if I've ever felt one. See that? Thank you, Akanza. Alright? Oh, God. Oh, I feel better than machine anyways. Hi, Jimmy. One bad boy. Real house. Oh. Oh. Um, 
personable, I guess. The whole, like, it's like a vlog, I guess, with his kid and his, I guess that's his wife or his girlfriend or something. Um, I guess I see the appeal. He, he does, I mean, the dude is huge for sure. I, he looks pretty tall also. Um, I don't know. Uh, anyway, whatever. Um, I just wonder like how applicable is this for most people? Like who has a home gym? Really? Who has a fucking home gym? How many people have a home gym? Do a lot of people have a home gym and have all these fucking a squat rack and a fucking 30 year old like lat pull down machine that they can take apart? Um, so like how, like who's, who's watching this for the training advice, I guess. Nobody really, I don't think, um, it's just for entertainment, which is something to be said about that for sure. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah. And it's in terms of like, I feel like once you work out for long enough, the natural progression is to make up your own exercises, right? That's something that I, I don't know. I do that for sure. I fucking make weird shit up all the time. And people look at me in the gym and they're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> Sometimes people come up to me and be like, are you okay? <laughs> um, but that's just how it is. Like there's only, you know, the old school bodybuilding, you know, magazines, I guess, and fucking what you see in the gym, really, that'll only take you so far. Like where, where do people even learn exercises anymore? Like it used to be bodybuilding magazines. That's what people, that's where we used to learn them from before social media. That's what I used to do. I used to buy fucking muscle and fitness and what are the other ones called? Um, I don't know, whatever the old fucking magazines were. And I would like look up exercises in those magazines and I would like do the routines from there. Um, learned a fair amount, I guess, but that was like in year 2000, you know, there's just, just by the nature of time progressing, there's going to be new shit coming out. Um, and those, those exercises have to come from somewhere. And there is, like, what did he say? You have to change the leverage. You always have to change the leverage. That's true. You definitely do. I know he said it kind of as a joke and things lopsided and it's just kind of janky, but he's right. You do have to change the leverage sometimes or frequently, I guess, because you're going to have some tight muscles. And when you change the leverage, you'll get a really good stretch. What was he talking about? The stretch and the bicep. That's for a different purpose, right? You want to, like, stretch the muscle before you contract it. It's supposed to give you, like make you grow faster or something like that. Um, I don't know. I really, it's dirty hands in my eyes and mouth. No, not good. Pink eye. All right, then you got a bench. Of course, everyone knows this one. It's a little bit right here. Same thing, right? It's all right, it's good. First of all, my favorite is the Anza Modified <laughs> Preacher Curl. <laughs> or you can just do the barbell. The good thing the barbell is too is you can use uh, another barbell to do the curls, right? Like an easy curl bar. Mm -hmm. So basically, you got Trace, maybe Quattro, if you've got the double Akansa feature, Akansa's gonna have a hell of a boost in the stock market. But not for its like the normal not the actual function of it. <laughs> Alright, so that's a couple options there to get a really stretch on the body. Alright, next level, why don't you back up? Give me some space. You're gonna see this in the Why isn't a baby anymore? Ooh, she's an adult now? She's very old now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this was the big Del Hagen feature. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's way too even better than you think because of the barbell and What's that? The barbell and the squat rack. What do you mean? It's just right in the right spot for that. Oh good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm sure it's good. Alright, so can you move a little bit so I can see myself? Oh my gosh. That's a diva. <laughs> so big doll hagings, right? Upright ropes. Upright ropes. And something's like, right, it's a shoulder bench. Listen, if it bothers your shoulders, all you do is upright roll a little bit lower, right? You're still working the lateral belts and the traps. You don't need to go as high if that bothers you. But with that being said, this is a good feature, guys, because it's off. If I do up and roll this, versus the bar, I kind of shimmy at this angle, right? So I can take a little bit of the weight off of the top. So I get a full, Jesus, range of motion, pause, with a little bit of weight. Do you understand what I'm saying here, Mama? Yeah. Do you understand? Know so you're getting the full tension. God dang. Where it's at the top, and then you can squeeze, you know, it's hard to squeeze, like, the, 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 the major crust. Do you understand? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the peak, but the peak contraction, when the weight is at the right proper angle, this is going to be hard to squeeze there. So basically what you do is you get full, full range of motion, and then you kind of get that shaft sticking on your chest, right? So that you can get a good squeeze and contraction at the top, and then you can do the full range. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I thought, I, I expected something way different from this guy. 
way different. Uh, I thought he was going to actually like give advice. I guess this is advice, kind of. But it's just, it's not bad. I mean, but he's just like cracking jokes and with his, you know, sexual innuendo with his wife. And his like kid comes in, does weird stuff. Um, uh, I guess in terms of upright rows, I don't think that those are necessarily bad. I know that's like the whole... Um, as far as I know, that came from Jeff Cavalier, where like he like really says like don't do upright rows, never do upright rows. They're so bad for you. The fuck up your shoulders, blah blah blah. Um, I didn't do them for a very long time because of that, and I would like silently judge people in the gym when I saw them doing them. I used to do them when I started. Never had any shoulder issues from doing them, um, and then started actually doing them again recently, and I was like, wow, these feel really good. Um, so again, you know, like he said, I think it's okay to do upright rows if you, um, you know, if, if they don't bother you, I think that's fine. I don't think there's a problem with doing them, but I mean, what else can I say? Like the dude is just clearly just like having a good time being a goof in his, you know, dusty garage gym. Okay. It's funny, I guess. Does that make sense to you? Not so really, but you can get a bigger, better, sweet. I, I don't do this kind of stuff. That's why. Oh my gosh. It's not that funny because you're doing it every time. It's funny to me. <laughs> Alright, so if I can just. Oh! You're hard to see the right. Oh! This is the hardest at the top. You got my eyes are on fire right now. Okay, you just cut this over. So, of course, right here. Right here. So are you crunching your shoulders up? Ah! Do you try to keep your shoulders down while you do that or no? Oh, like just form wise. So you crunch your shoulders by your ears when you do that? Come on. Come on. Well, that like... Strong, right? I know, but... It's the hardest. If they get a barbell, this is going to be the easiest part of the movement. As soon as the elbows get higher and higher, it's harder to get worse leverage, right? Right. So here you get the super difficult leverage. They kind of rest on the shoulders a bit. <laughs> Okay. Squeeze a little bit longer. Well, that rest on the chest. I mean, that means better. What is going on with you? You're not gonna be weight right now. Yeah, my shoulders are on fire. Oh. And my eyes are on fire too. <laughs> I think that's more better. All right. Well, oh my God, my eyes are on fire. Okay. Well, finish up, honey. Oh, we can go right on. Uh, okay. So next, with the big dahani tool. Mhm. Mm Another thing you guys can do. Uh, listen, it's a uh, sticky knees. I'm holy trying to be trying to be three times right, Mom. I don't know. I mean, should try is three, so yeah. Alright, so you got, the, you got the upper row, correct? Jesus. Yeah, here's the thing. When you do high pulls with the barbell, they're great for delts and traps, but then you have to take a bar from here and transition it, right? If you're doing high pulls with the press, so like a muscle clean and press. Well, look no further, guys. Big delt hopping this comes to the liver. Okay? If we grab this point, we get, what's this? Get it close to my body, okay? Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. That's what you get. You just keep doing oh, the same joke over and yeah. over again. Wow. All right, let's end it there. Okay, so the exercise. All right. Let me continue. We'll do it next time. This is sodium, potassium, water right now. All right. What the hell, dude? What was that? What did I even just watch? Uh, it was funny. Um, is that like, is that, that's like his, uh, that's like what he does. He just like acts like a goof and does fitness stuff. Um, okay. Hmm. All right. Well, it's different. Um, the whole like upright row and like resting it on your shoulder so you can get that better stretch in the back. That's good. That's a good idea. I might try that. I have shoulder shoulder issues. I guess anybody does after a certain point. Okay, that's Eric Bugenhagen. Um, people watch this guy for advice. All right. Anyway, whatever. You guys have any other... I mean, it's entertaining. Don't get me wrong. He's an entertaining guy. Easy on the eyes for sure. Dude is jacked. Very good looking. No homo. But like... Uh, it's just... Uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't watch this. Like, wh why would I watch this? I guess for like a quick like minute of entertainment. Okay. Anyway, you have any more? Let me know. Leave me a comment.
Peace.